Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Cheer here, and today we're making up one of my all-time favorite dim sums, shumai. It's simple, easy, but nevertheless delicious. You're gonna love it, so let's get started. So to get started here, what I have is uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about half a kilo of ground pork, and you're best to get lean because you just don't want that fatty residue. Then I'm gonna add in a thumb-sized ginger that I've chopped up, followed by half a small chopped onion. A quarter cup of finely chopped carrots. About three tablespoons of spring onions. Half a cup of shrimp, and these are just some popcorn shrimp that I've deveined and chopped up. An egg white. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. A teaspoon of soy sauce. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw in a teaspoon of marin, and if you don't have it on hand, you can simply leave it out. Then I'm just gonna season this with half a teaspoon of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and the amount is up to you. I'm a pepper lover, so of course I'm gonna add lots. Then I'm gonna take my wooden spoon here and mix everything together until it's nicely combined. So what you're gonna do now is take the wonton wrapper and place it in the palm of your hand. Scoop up, oh I'd say about a tablespoon of the mixture and place it in the center of the wrapper. Then just kind of fold and tuck the outside edges in. And just kind of flatten the top out while rotating it. This is just kind of my way of doing it. It really depends on how you want the appearance of your shumai. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside on a plate and repeat this process for the rest of the mixture. So once you've done that, what you might want to do is go ahead and add a few chopped carrots to the top. This is just for appearance. You could add peas, spring onions, whatever you want, just to make them real pretty. Okay, so now we're going to prepare our steamer, and what I've done is placed a few leaves of cabbage into the bottom just to absorb any excess water. And of course, if you have the authentic dim sum bamboo steamer, go ahead and use it because that would be just perfect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add in about six of the shumai. We don't want the steamer overcrowded, but then again, we don't want them to be lonely. Put the top on, and what I've done is put a cloth over the top just so the water doesn't build on the top of the steamer and drip down back into the shumai, which makes kind of a mess. And let these steam over medium heat for about, I'd say, 10 minutes. While the shumai is steaming, we're going to make a really simple but delicious sauce by combining three tablespoons of soy sauce with about a quarter teaspoon of chili sauce, just to give it that extra heat and a couple of drops of sesame oil. You don't want too much of this because it's really, really strong. Of course, we're gonna give this a good mix until it's nicely combined and set it aside. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click this button, this button, that one right there, and you'll never miss a recipe. After about 10 minutes, our shumai is nicely done and these really smell delicious. I can hardly wait to try them out. Believe me guys, the shumai combined with the simple sauce is really, really delicious. Once you get started, you're just not going to want to stop. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more recipes. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.